Lockhart. Juror number 12, Your Honor, Mr. Grant Rudnick. He has something he wanted to say. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry, I should have said this before. This note was given to me in the jury room. Oh, come on, Your Honor, this is ridiculous. 53-24-A, Your Honor, jury tampering or bullying falls well within the judge's right to declare a mistrial. I know. I interrupted Mr. Argos. I will go sit down now. The jury has decided, Your Honor, the defense shouldn't be allowed to keep throwing crap against the wall. Thank you, Mr. Argos, but I think it's my job to figure out what is crap. Mr. Rudnick, did this threat change your view of the case? Your Honor, that's not the point. The mere fact of it is not... Mr. Lockhart, I can ask you a question. Mr. Rudnick, did this note change your mind about the case? No. So, when I pulled the jury in court and you said guilty in the first degree, were you telling the truth? I guess so, sure. Ms. Lockhart, Mr. Coyne, again, nice effort, but I deny your request for a mistrial. And I ask that you be more circumspect in the future with your approaches to jury members. Damn it. What happened? I was afraid to go out on the limb. Who threatened you, Mr. Rudnick? I read that before, but um, I forget his name. But it's not like I took him seriously. I was just one of the holdouts. And I think he just wanted to finish up that night. What I don't understand is the foreman was one of the not guilty votes. And then after lunch, not only does he change his vote, but he pressures another juror to overturn his vote. Uh, Kalinda, what are you doing? Anything you want. I'm on my way. Three decan buttons, all with irises. Oh, I like the middle one especially. Thank you, I do too. So, uh, did you talk much about the case during lunch? No, we honored the judge's instruction. And was Mario with you? He's the foreman. Most days he was during the trial, but deliberations, no. He said he had to do something next door. Next door to what? Chopstick shack. We'd go there every day. Do you remember what was next door? He used a computer in an internet cafe over lunch. He had to pay with a credit card, so I was able to find out which computer he used. And this is a cache of the searches that he did during the hour. What was he looking for? Articles on our alibi witness, Sergeant Alden. What was it, a grudge? No. Alden shot a Hispanic youth in 2002. Uh-oh. Yeah. He was cleared of charges, but there was a lot of controversy because the youth was unarmed. Many members of the Latino community accused him of lying during the inquest. And Sergeant Alden is black, not Rod Love lost there. So you think he changed his vote when he realized it was the same officer? Yeah, but I don't think he made the connection until he was in the middle of deliberations. He checked, and then he persuaded the other jurors. We need to take this to the judge. No, we need more. Why? This is exactly what Judge Dunaway was talking about. No, 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 something's changed there. We need more. We could get affidavits from the other jurors. If they'll swear that the foreman brought in outside evidence to the jury room, that might work. Okay, I'm on it. Uh-huh. Hello, Alicia Florek. Mrs. Florek, I was hoping to get your voicemail. I just wanted to apologize. It doesn't look like it'll work out for your kids after all. Oh, really? Why? Well, first of all, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I'm just trying not to set an unfortunate precedent. I hope you understand. Mrs. Florek. Hello? Peter Florek. Hey. Alicia. What's the matter? 